In this video, I want to do a very brief recap on Sokotoa, something you should have learnt at GCSE. And this is really the trigonometry that you were probably drilled on. Okay, so Sokotoa, as it's written, um, is representing sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we can write sine x equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine of x is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan x is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So so ka toa. Okay. Now what these uh, sides, opposite hypotenuse adjacent, relate to are, are a right angle triangle. So if that's x, then this is the opposite side, okay, to the angle. This is the adjacent side. Adjacent means next to, so it's the side that's next to the angle. And this is the hypotenuse, okay, the longer side and the side that's opposite the right angle. So, for example, if we had a right angle triangle like this, okay, and I wanted to know that angle, and I was given that this is 16 centimetres and this is uh, 4 centimetres, so not very to scale, I know, okay, but that doesn't matter. What I need to do is identify that here I have the opposite side, that's what I've been given, and I've been given the hypotenuse. I don't have the adjacent, so I wouldn't look for a formula that has the adjacent in it. I'll look for the one that has the opposite and hypotenuse in it, which is sine. So sine of x is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so 4 over 16. Then in order to find the angle, we need to use the inverse sine of 4 over 16. Now this can be written in two ways. It could either be written as inverse sine like this, so sine to the minus 1. This relates directly to what you have on your calculator. Or it can be written as arc sine. That's probably something that you haven't seen before. Okay, so arc sine. Um, with this example in particular, uh, it usually favours writing it as arc sine or arc cos or arc tan rather than this. Okay, so just be aware of that. So making sure we're in degrees, inverse sine of 4 over 16 gets us 14.5 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, and that's like a very basic example of using uh, trigonometry here. We could do um, another example, so let's say we have a triangle where we have the angle, and that's 33 degrees, and um, let's say we have an adjacent given to us, and that's uh, 12 centimetres, and I want to know the height of this triangle, okay? So I want to know the opposite. So what I've got is the adjacent and the hypotenuse, uh, sorry, the adjacent and the opposite. So that means I've got to use the tan formula. So tan of the angle is equal to the opposite, that's the one I don't know, divided by the adjacent, which is 12. So I just need to multiply both sides of this equation by 12. So tan of 33 is 0.649 times by 12 and we get 7.79. So the opposite, the length that we're trying to find, is 7.79 centimetres to two decimal places. And that is how Sokotoa can be used.